Hi guys, I'm Katie Wayne and this is Animalist News. Just because researchers study real science doesn't mean that they don't love science fiction. In fact, they sometimes even name new species after popular characters and authors. One of the most famous monsters is the vampire Dracula, and it's only fitting that a fellow bloodsucker would be named after him. Draculoids Bram Stokeri is a scorpion-like arachnid from Australia famous for its large, fang-like pedipalps. But don't be fooled, although they look scary, those fangs are nothing more than an extra set of legs which are used to crush prey. However, they do suck the blood and juices out of their victims in living caves. As an added bonus, the second part of its name, Bram Stoker Eye, is a combination of Dracula's author's name, Bram Stoker. While this arachnid lives up to its namesake, whoever named this animal must have been blind. You know those cute, fuzzy little pet tribbles from Star Trek? You would probably think an animal named after them would be equally as cuddly, but alas, they are actually sea snails. As it turns out, Conus Tribuli wasn't really named after the Star Trek critter in the first place. Instead, scientist Jerry Walsh, who found them, had a pet cat called Tribbles. Does it count that the sea snails were named after a cat who was named after the original Tribbles? Right? Speaking of animals that don't exactly fit their name, Godzilla usually evokes images of a towering destructive monster. However, Gojiosaurus, whose name means Godzilla lizard, wasn't really that big at all. Although the dinosaur would have loomed above humans, it was only six meters tall. When you think about it, that's not big at all for dinosaur standards. What is standard apparently is naming dinosaurs after pop culture. Jacorus Hogwartsia is, as you guessed it, named after the popular Harry Potter series. According to the amateur paleontologist who discovered it, the name means the Dragon King of Hogwarts. The 66 million year old dinosaur is said to look like a less threatening version of the Hungarian Horntail. If you found a new animal, what would you name it? Let me know in the comments below and also please check out these videos over here and to subscribe right here. I love you all and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.